Good morning everyone, I'm Jane and I'm excited to present this fascinating research on flash vacuum pyrolysis conducted by Federico Velasco Montaña and colleagues from the Universidad Nacional de Córdoba and the University of Coimbra. Today we'll be discussing the flash vacuum pyrolysis of dimethyl 5 methyl 3 phenyl 1H 3H pyrolo 2 c thiazole 6 com 7 dicarboxylate 2 com 2 dioxide. This collaborative work between research teams from Argentina and Portugal represents an important advancement in our understanding of pyrolysis reactions and their potential applications. The research focuses on several key aspects. First, the spectroscopic and thermal characterization of our compound of interest. Second, the production of azufulvine intermediates through sulfur dioxide extrusion. Third, the formation of vinyl pyrroles and their cycloaddition reactions. And finally, the potential formation of 1,7-addition products, which could have significant synthetic and pharmaceutical applications. The team set out with three main objectives, to thoroughly characterize compound 1 using various analytical techniques, including UV-Vis, NMR, and GCMS, combined with gas phase pyrolysis reactions, to investigate the possibility of 1,7 cycloadditions from the azofulvine intermediate, and to conduct a comprehensive exploration of pyrolysis products derived from compound 1. The methodology employed was quite comprehensive. For UV-Vis analysis, they prepared samples using 5 mg of compound in acetonitrile. Proton NMR studies were conducted using a DRX 400 MHz spectrometer with deuterated chloroform as the solvent. GCMS analysis utilized a Shimadzu system with helium as the carrier gas. The pyrolytic reactions were performed in a Vicor glass reactor under carefully controlled conditions, with oxygen-free dry nitrogen as the carrier gas and contact times around 0.1 seconds. Importantly, they achieved material recovery rates exceeding 80%. Looking at the UV-Vis spectroscopic results, we can see three significant absorption bands. The most intense band appears at 193 nanometers with an extinction coefficient of 63.5 plus or minus 0.4. A second, less defined band is observed at 223 nanometers with a coefficient of 20.6 plus or minus 0.1. The third band at 260 nanometers with a coefficient of 9.11 plus or minus 0.07 is well defined and has been assigned to the HOMO to LUMO transition. The kinetic and thermodynamic characterization revealed several important parameters. The activation energy was determined to be 112 units, with a natural log of A value of 23. The transition state shows interesting characteristics, with delta H double dagger of 114 and delta G double dagger of 135. The reaction parameters indicate delta H naught of 27.0 and delta G naught of 28.3. These values, along with the negative entropy values, suggest a highly ordered transition state. In conclusion, the team successfully characterized the pyrolysis reaction from compound 1, reporting compounds 2 cis and 3 for the first time. A key finding was that the transition state is achieved with a high order relative to the reagent which has important implications for understanding the reaction mechanism. This work was made possible through the support of several organizations, including CONACET, FONCT, and CCIT-UNC. The collaborative effort between institutions has been crucial to the success of this research. Thank you for your attention. For any questions, please contact the authors at Córdoba National University in Argentina,